welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this short video lecture i will guide you about basic knowledge for civil engineers if you are working on construction site if you are studying so these important technical terms and basic information can help you so therefore watch this video till the end to know about new information related civil engineering the first one is guys about bearing capacity what is bearing capacity as i discussed in many videos but shortly i will guide you the bearing capacity is the strength of soil and we have different types of soil and different types of soil has different bearing capacity so therefore the bearing capacity is the resistance which can resist to the structure okay so the bearing capacity of the soil should not be less than required load of building suppose if the load of building is 5000 5000 kg per square feet uh, sorry per square meter or 10000 kg per square meter so the bearing capacity should be maximum according to the or compared to the structure load or the required load of building so therefore suppose i have required load is this is a required load what we have for example the required load of the building is 5000 kg per meter square so here what should be the bearing capacity so the bearing capacity of the soil should not be less than this but it should be guys you can see it should not be less than a required load okay so therefore the bearing capacity should be maximum bearing capacity you can say it should be not less than this but it should be more than for example 8000 kg per meter square so this is the example for the bearing capacity of soil should not be less than required load of building but it should be maximum from the required load the next one is guys plinth level so plinth level for the building should be 6 60 to 80 centimeter from the natural ground level suppose guys you can see this is natural ground level or you can say NSL or natural surface level of the or the soil level okay the ground level you can say so therefore guys when you are when you want to construct your building so therefore this is the building so the building plinth level should be minimum from the ground level from to 60 to 80 centimeter it should not be less than this from the ground level okay so that is called plinth level pl it should be above the ground level it should not be equal to each other otherwise you will face more problems in the future of any kind of building if that is commercial building or residential building but the plinth level for the building should be 60 to 80 centimeter from natural ground you can increase but it should not be decreased than this value which i have discussed in front of you the next one is guys dpc dam proof course which we are providing on the top of brick masonry or on the top of the plinth level so therefore dpc concrete grade should not be less than m15 grade concrete where m15 grade concrete ratio is one two four this is grade of concrete which is m15 m15 means uh, this is the uh, 15 newton per mm square this is the compressive strength of concrete for newton per mm square 15 so if you are using m20 it means 20 newton per mm square but it should not be less than this so for normal dpc you can use the the given uh, ratio or m15 grade which i have discussed here okay the next one is guys five meter span if you have five meter span between two columns this one if you have five meter span between two columns are quite safe if we use m20 grade concrete m20 grade concrete but according to the structure load according to the uh, bearing capacity of soil according to the structure load you will design the uh, footing the size of column inside steel reinforcement but if you have uh, six numbers of steel rods are more than six numbers of steel rods so the grade of concrete should not be less than m20 that's why because if you are increasing uh, more than five meter are about five meters so the grade of concrete should not be less than this if you are using any quantity okay but this is the normal grade of concrete which we can use for foundation beam column slab but normally i am recommending you five meters span between two columns are quite safe if we use or if you use 
uh, M20 grade concrete. Okay, inside steel reinforcement, it depends on the structure load. If you are going more than two stories, so for that, you should hire the structural engineer to give you the structural design for foundation, beam, column, slab. Before this, they will find the bearing capacity of soil because different type, uh, types of soil has the, uh, their different bearing capacity according to the structure load you will find the depth of foundation size of beam column slab you will know better uh, according to the structure load that what grade of concrete is best for this construction okay so these are some related information uh, especially for five meter spin or more than because it depends on the structure load and also bearing capacity of soil which i have already discussed here that the bearing capacity of the soil should not be less than required load of building suppose if required load is five thousand kg so the bearing capacity should be maximum but not minimum okay or not less than that the required load the next one is guys first stirrup should be placed with minimum two inches space as we are using stirrups and beam suppose i have a column here this is a beam and this is column columns are supports you can say so we are providing stirrups and steel reinforcement so the first stirrup should be placed with minimum two inches space okay it should not be more than this the other one you can increase five inches six inches so the first step should be placed which is next or near with support which is rcc column so that should be placed with the minimum two inch space okay otherwise you will face problems that's why because uh, according to the structure load also i will tell you uh, we are providing the stirrups uh, by the rules regulation of is or aci american concrete institute uh, that's depend on the structure load so sometime uh, at the distance of l by 4 or after l by 4 we can increase and also decrease it's depend on the uh, the extra steel rods etc so therefore the first step should be placed with the minimum uh, spacing of two inches this is very important to know the next one is guys development length should not be less than 12d as you know devel development length we are providing in beam at the end of the beam so when we are providing development length suppose guys this is beam these are steel reinforcement this one this is steel longitudinal bar this is the other one so this is called development length this one and the downward is going to the upward side and the upward side is going to the downward side so this is called development length so this development length should not be less than 12d where d is die of steel rod suppose if the die of steel rod is half inch or 12 millimeter so in that case uh, you can say 0.5 so this is 0.5 inch it means so 12 millimeter multiply what 12 so it means we required six inch it should not be less than six inches in that case if you are using 12 millimeter a die of steel rod and beam so the development length you can get from this formula which is 12d then you can get the length but it should not be less than this the other one is guys self weight of structure or slab beams columns and walls etc so if someone asks from you what is structure load or what is self weight of structure or what is self weight of building so it means that this is the weight of slab beam column and building as i discussed here this is load of the building okay so this is called self weight the other one is live load if someone asks from you what is live load so live load we have due to furniture equipments machinery etc what we have inside the building that is called live load or when we are uh, on the top of the building or inside the building uh, when we are uh, moving there this is also including in live load so guys this is a short video to guide you about basic information related civil engineering which i have discussed the front of you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye